Duct tape was originally invented by the army. They used it to seal up ammo cases, and they called it duct tape. You know, quack, quack, damn you, because it would repel water. Later on, they started to use it for heating and air conditioning vents, things like that, because they would seal it up. But basically, the formulation is the same. It's a plastic coating on the outside to seal things up. It has a fabric structure that gives it its strength, and it has a natural rubber adhesive on the inside, so it sticks to stuff. Yeah, and that's got me thinking. Ooh, that's got me worried. It should, because I'm thinking that you make an entire cannon out of duct tape. Wait a minute, you're talking about a genuine black powder cannon firing real cannonballs out of nothing but duct tape? Yes! Carrie, you should start thinking more often. I know, but we're Mythbusters, we have to ramp it up. And the team is going to play it safe by making its duct tape cannon barrel two inches thick. And to get the perfect shape, it's going to build it around a removable steel form. Okay, so here's the plan. We have our internal diameter plug. We're going to grease this up. We're gonna cover it in wax paper. All right. And then we're gonna start a cross hatching system with all of our duct tape to get to our target thickness so we have the perfect duct tape cannon. After a few minutes, the guys settle into a routine. Oh, yeah. There we go. And on occasion, Carrie settles into her chair. Oof, I'm working up a sweat over here. All right, let's put this duct tape to the test. <laughs> Harry, Grant, and Tori are about to find out if you can make a fully functioning cannon from duct tape. Look at this arsenal of absurdity. <laughs> the test will be a simple performance comparison with a real steel cannon, including muzzle velocity, range, and whether it, you know, catastrophically fails. This season, myths will fall. <laughs> All new Mythbusters, Wednesday at 9, only on Discovery.